here welcome back to another video if you're new here thank you so much for joining me subscribe down below it really supports my channel and as you can see by the title of the video today we'll be doing breakfast potatoes something really really simple that i really love that you can either pair it with some eggs or some sausage for brunch and on the other side you can also pair it with some chicken some stew whichever way it works amazingly so let's get cooking and so as you can see this is our potato so the first step will be to peel and one thing about peeling potatoes i love using this potato peeler more than using a knife because it actually doesn't take off a lot of skin when we use knives uh, as in we end up um peeling a lot of yandani, you get me <laughs> we peel a lot of potatoes that we can use in the long run so let me just peel um the rest and then i'll show you what to do next now that we've already peeled all the potatoes i start by cutting them into slices and then into cubes we don't want them so big and yet not so small like to say may, maybe a centimeter or two we want them into cubes small ones that can also be eaten by kids really manageable ones that won't will cook also easily and fast because remember this is an easy breakfast recipe you don't want to spend all your time in the kitchen so yeah i'm going to just chop up the rest as well and then i'll cut you after and in the meantime, as I was cutting the potatoes, I was um, I already started um, heating the oil, so it was heating in the process just to save on time. And um, this is what I do to see if the oil is hot. As you can see, there are bubbles forming, meaning the oil is perfectly fine to start frying. And also another way to do it is simply, you can simply just throw in one thing that you're frying. In this case, the potatoes, you can just throw in one to see if the oil is hot. But because we use the Muiko method, we know it's fine. I'm not going to add my potatoes. And also one other tip is to avoid overcrowding of the potatoes because one, overcrowding leads to the temperature reduces so the potatoes cook much slower and in the long run they end up soaking a lot of oil. So you put kidogo kidogo and once you've put just try to as much as possible to separate them while they cook. Yeah, that's the trick I personally use and it saves you on a lot of oil and time yeah so instead of removing the other batch i decided because they were very kidogo i will add the rest onto here so i let the other batch cook for like five minutes and then i added onto the rest i'll just give them like an extra five minutes on top and then i'll just remove them and now that you can see others have started turning golden brown they are now good to go and as you can hear, vinye zinagonga nini zinagonga nasauti, meaning they are crispy on the outside, and that's what we were going for initially. So yeah. Now I'm going to just quickly just toss toss the potatoes to remove the excess oil, and as you can hear, zinagonga ikitu, so meaning they are crispy, and that's how we want them. And now I'm just going to transfer the potatoes into that bowl. And then the next step, I'll just add, this is a bit of salt. I'm going to add salt kidogo. Next step, I'm going to add a bit of black pepper. And I won't add a lot because their kids will also be eating this food. So just minimal. But if it's adults, you can add as much as you want. And then the next step, I'm just going to add paprika. Add as much as you want, as much as you can, and that's mm -hmm. the quantity that I'm going to be putting. And then I'll just toss them. I'll just toss them together. And that's it. They're ready to go. 
as you can see the potatoes really turned out amazingly look at them wow and now we're just going to try them i'm going to dip mine in a, in a little bit of um ketchup and uh hot and sweet Wow, those are very, very nice potatoes, I can say. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Till next time. Bye.